Hello and welcome to Little Learners. Today I'm going to talk about the transition between reception and year one and what you can do as a parent or caregiver to prepare your child for that transition. Before we get started, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give this video a like if you find it interesting. Tip number one, I'm going to get this out of the way straight away because I think it's something that is really, really important and that is summer reading. Over the summer, it's really important to carry on reading with your child and having your child read to you as well. Lots of children, by the time they get to year one, have a big dip in their reading ability over the summer because they haven't been reading much. So it's really important to keep reading just as your children have been throughout their reception year. Tip two, most schools will offer a transition day or kind of an induction day for all of the children. And that means that the reception classes will go up to meet their year one teachers and have some time with their year one teachers, get to know the classroom that they're going to be in and get to know their new teacher. Many schools will do more than one day for reception children. If your child's school is doing this, then please make sure your child is in school on those days, unless of course they're really ill, because they are so important and they can really help to kind of iron out any of those anxieties that children have about the unknown. Tip three. Similarly, if there are any transition events or meetings, meet the teacher evenings or anything like that for parents to go to, make sure you go to those because Every school is different, of course, the kind of general idea of transition will be the same, but it's important that you attend those meetings or get-togethers so that you can see what transition looks like in your child's school and what it will look like for your child. If there's an opportunity to meet your child's new teacher, then make sure you do that as well. Tip four, positives, not anxieties. You as a parent, especially if this is your first child, may have a lot of anxieties about them going from early years to key stage one. It's a very different kind of learning style and you may be a little bit worried about how they're going to handle it. However, it's really important that you don't let your child start mirroring your anxieties. So instead of saying to them, oh, you're going to have to work a lot harder next year, say things like, isn't it exciting that you're going to be in a new classroom? Isn't it exciting that you're going to have so many more books to choose to read? Just make it an exciting time and something for them to look forward to rather than telling them things that they're going to need to worry about. So, you know, when you're saying that they're going to have a new teacher, don't say, oh, but you do know that you're not going to have your teacher anymore, don't you? Or you do know that so-and-so isn't going to be in your class anymore, don't you? Please don't tackle it that way. There are definitely positive ways that you can come at all of those things to make it a really exciting stage for your child. Tip five. This kind of leads on, it's to do with your child's new teacher. It's important that you know their name and you talk to your child about them. So if your child has met them already, get them to tell you about them. If you get to meet the teacher, then also that's really important. And then through the summer, just mention your child's new teacher. Maybe they can draw a picture of their new teacher or write a little letter or card to their new teacher, just so that they have in their head that they're going to have this new person in their life but don't go on about it because that can make them feel really anxious. So instead of thinking about it in the way that they are losing their reception teacher, definitely talk about it in the sense that they are gaining this very important person in their life now. Tip six, if you have any particular concerns about your child or their transition or how they might react to their transition because of any special educational needs or other issues, then make sure you meet with your child's new teacher to just go over those so that you feel better knowing that the teacher knows about your concerns and also the teacher can plan to act on those. You may also want to meet with the SENCO if your child has an additional need, just to make sure that they are really thinking about everything they can be doing for your child during their transition. Tip seven, it's really important during the summer that your child still gets to socialize. So this is particularly important for only children because they don't have siblings to be socializing with. So just make sure that they have meetups with maybe some of their friends from school over the summer or cousins or just some other children for them to play with and socialize with. You can even do this just by going to the park. Children make friends with everyone and they will just be chatting and playing with other children. So it's just really important that they still get that opportunity to socialize so that when they go to year one, they haven't completely forgotten how to play with others. Tip eight, continue to encourage independence. This is so important. Throughout all of reception, teachers have been really trying to get children to be independent. And of course, parents will be doing that at home as well. 
it's really easy to see kind of the goals you have in reception in terms of things like toilets. So by the time they start reception, they need to be able to use the toilet independently. During the year, they need to be able to put their coat on independently or change for pee independently or start doing activities and tasks independently. And so that can seem a little bit clearer. For year one, you may think that you don't really need to do anything now because they're able to be independent in a lot of things, but it's very easy to fall into the dependence route during the summer. It's very easy for you to kind of go back to doing lots of things for them or for them to want you to do lots of things for them because you're their parent and they want to just be spending time with you a lot. So just make sure that you're keeping an eye on that and making sure that they are still being independent and you are still encouraging them to do so. Tip nine, writing during the summer. As I said with reading, many children will have a big dip in their writing ability over the summer because they're not writing every day like they are at school. So it's important to just drip in some writing activities during the summer, but they need to be for a purpose. So maybe this will be writing a postcard to a friend, writing a letter, keeping a diary about something, helping you write a shopping list, just making sure that they've got opportunities to be using letter formation and remembering how to write. Tip 10. If your school gives your child a transition booklet, then make sure you use it over the summer. So some schools don't do this, some schools do, and often these transition booklets will be full of activities that your child can do to help them to sustain their level during the summer. So there might be some writing activities, some maths activities in there, some activities for them to do with you. So just make sure that it doesn't just get stuck in a drawer somewhere and forgotten for the whole summer because it can actually be really helpful for your child. And those are 10 tips to prepare your child for the transition between reception and year one. If you have any questions, do leave them in the comments below. Like I said earlier, if you found this video helpful, please give it a like as it really helps out the channel. I just want to say a huge thank you for 20,000 subscribers. It is absolutely incredible. We hit that this week and I am so grateful and so excited to see what is to come for the channel. Having said that, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell so you get to see more videos like this in the future. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.